In this video, I'd like to continue talking about the concept of perimeter by looking at several different example problems. So for this problem, what is the perimeter of the trapezoid? So this shape right here, this is our trapezoid. And remember the perimeter is just the length around the outside of the shape. So for instance, if this was our yard and we needed to put up a fence around it, the perimeter will tell us how much fencing or the length of fencing we would need to go around the edge of the shape. So the main idea when finding perimeter is that we're just gonna add up the length of each of the sides on the outside of the shape. So in this case, our perimeter, we will take this eight meter side, then add the 10 meter side, then we'll add the other 10 meter side, and lastly, we will add the 18 meter side. So adding these together, well, 10 plus 10, that's 20, plus eight is 28, and then 28 plus 18, let's just simplify that. So 20 plus 10, that's 30, eight plus eight, that's 16, 30 plus 16, is 46. So the total perimeter of this trapezoid is 46 meters. So again, if this was our yard, we would need 46 meters of fence, or this would be the length of our fence, to go entirely around the outside of the yard. So let's keep going with these. We'll look at a couple more examples. So what is the perimeter of the regular pentagon? So to answer this question, we need to understand what the word regular means. And when you have a regular polygon, this just means equal sides, and it also means equal angles. But in that case, or in this case, that's not necessarily important. So a regular pentagon will have all equal sides. So all of these will be nine centimeters. So we can write that in. These are all length nine. So when finding the perimeter, of this shape, which we'll call P, we're just gonna add nine five different times. And in this case, we have repeated addition. And when you see repeated addition, you can think multiplication. We are really just multiplying nine by five. And that should make sense since we have a pentagon and that is a polygon with five different sides. So penta for five. And of course, nine times five, that is 45. But we always need to be careful. We need to put our units in since each of these are in centimeters. Our total perimeter would be 45 centimeters. And let's just do one final question. So in this one, we have a triangle. And which of the following expressions can be used to find the perimeter of the triangle? So again, we're just looking at the length around the outside of this triangle. And we just need to add up all of these outside side lengths. So we can take 14, add that to 27, and then add that to 21. And let's look at our answer choices. So two of these should be right. So 27 plus 14 plus 21, that one is correct. We're just adding the side lengths. This one is multiplication. We don't have anything involving 27 and 21. So that is not correct. That will be short of our actual perimeter. This one multiplies 14 by 21. And one good way to remember the difference between perimeter and area is that with area, you generally deal with multiplication since you're adding the same amount repeatedly. With perimeter, you are adding, but it's not necessarily the same amount. Sometimes you can rewrite perimeter with multiplication but most of the time it's just gonna be addition. So 14 times 21, that's gonna give us a very large number and then adding 27 to that. So this should be a plus sign. So that is not correct either. And then choice D, that's correct since really we're just changing the order. Remember with addition, you can change the order since three plus two will give you the same answer as two plus three, these are each five. So choices A and D, these are the only ones where we're actually adding up these three different side lengths. And of course, if we wanna be very careful with these, we would also need to put in the correct units for each of these since we're dealing with meters here. 